what's going on on planet Earth. Because I don't want you to be fooled. I want you to be aware of what's happening. Because a lot of us are not aware. And that's Satan's job to dull you, to put you to sleep, to put you to sleep to righteousness and what's happening. Just this week alone, we've had three teenagers I know I can think of to die. Friday night, we had a 14 year old girl get yep. shot. This world is getting colder and colder. And we don't understand why and what we can do about it. We can't, you can elect whatever president you want to. A president that does not focus on God and go, this is God's answer, is not going to get it. It's not going to be about color, I'm telling you right now. Right now it's going to be about whether or not you trust, believe in God. And whether or not you believe that there are answers, and whether or not you believe that there is a firm foundation in God's word. Everything today is trying to get you not to believe in this. Everything today is trying to get you to say to within yourself, church not important. That's not that important. You know why? Because there's a move that's moving right now. And you got to understand that. This was predicted 2,000 years ago. And what we'll be doing this morning, we're going to look and see what the Bible, if you doubt whether or not the Bible is real, then this morning some of you are going to be convinced as we get to read some of this stuff. Because it's almost scary and what's actually happening. He explains what happened, why it happened, and what's happening. That's what you're saying. Father, we thank you. We bless you for your word. Thank you. Your word will not return to you all, but will accomplish what you said it would. And in prospering thing, where you said your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Your word is delicious to us. Oh, Lord, help us to embrace your word and help us to learn how not to make the same mistakes that others have made. And help us to read your word and begin to live our life insightfully based on your word. Now in the name of Jesus, we break the spirit of stupor that's over the minds of this congregation. We say awake to righteousness. We speak to the soul of man. And we speak to the spirit of man in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord God, that we will hear your word. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, everybody said amen. amen. It is Satan's goal to get you to live your whole life in vanity. To get you to think that the whole purpose for you living is uh, football, basketball. Um, what's the next movie? What's going to happen on Empire or Scandal? See, this stuff is, the scripture calls it vanity. And you can give your mind over to it. Now they are uh, they even got new games that have come out. And I was looking this morning, I'm like, oh, what? It's almost a game where you can like shoot one another with your phones. But you can like capture where you're at and, and all this stuff coming out, if you're not careful, you'll get hooked up on it. You will get so captivated by it. Look out. I know because when video games first came out, I became a video game addict. Like that, no, you know, I'm not, like, like that, I would buy video games and say I would buy them for my kids and I would buy them for me. You know, what a three or four year old gonna do with a Mortal Kombat? They barely knew what a Mortal Kombat was, I even had to control everything. But it'd be one game on that they play, so that'd be all the speed I needed. And I could sit and just play it, and play and play and play. So I'm not telling you something I'm not, I don't know about. Okay. So this morning we're going to look at what the world needs now. And this is what we'll be talking about. What the world needs now. Everybody said now. Yeah. What does the world need? It used to be an old song that said what the world needs now is love, sweet love. Everybody said love. love. You said, Pastor, how does love or what does love have to do with anything? I'll show you in just a second. What you're seeing today was playing out in front of your eyes. Jesus talked about this some time before. And look what he said. Matthew chapter 24, verse 10. And then shall many be offended. Everybody say offended. 
Isn't it amazing how many people get offended over any little thing like that? Then you say, and what happens when the fish comes and shall betray one another? The same way Judas betrayed Jesus, he said that many will be offended me and betray one another. What did Judas betray Jesus for? Huh? Money. Remember? Remember Judas? Money. Everybody said money. money. <laughs> it almost sounded like today's church. Because for money, the love of money, people will do anything. Preachers will do anything. They will not preach the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ if it costs them money. I'm telling you right now, there are plenty of them. Like right now this morning, there's some church that all you're going to hear, even though all that's happening outside of the world, all you're going to hear is God's about breakthrough. You right on a break in your breakthrough. Now you may just be on a break in your breakthrough, but you need to know what to do when your breakthrough comes. What good is a breakthrough and you're still in bondage? What good is a breakthrough and you cannot live your life free from sin? What good is a breakthrough and your marriage breaking down? Do, do, do y'all hear me? What good is a breakthrough and you broke? Because that can happen. Look at this. And shall betray one another and shall what? Hate. hate. Everybody say hate. hate. This is a strong word, but this is a powerful word. But you see today, it's a bunch of hate. Then he says this. And many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many. Do y'all yeah, see that word many? Many is a powerful word. The reason it's a powerful word because many almost signifies more than the majority. I mean, it is the majority. Think about this word many. And shall do what? Deceive. Everybody said deceive. I told you over and over again. Some of you are going to hear this, and some of you are not going to hear. There's a spirit of deception on this land. It's here. And if you do not choose to follow Christ, you will be captivated by it. And what I'm saying to you will make no sense at all. You can like sit here and hear me say this, and it will be like a veil over your mind and your eyes, and you will not hear what's being said. So I, I just only pray that somehow, some way, this will get through. Look what happens. And because, what happens with these false prophets? How do you know it's false? And because iniquity shall abound. Everybody say iniquity. iniquity. The proof is in the pudding. We got bigger churches in bigger sins. We got more people going to church this morning than we did 20 years ago. And why is our murder rate out the chart? Why? We got more knowledge. There's more ways to get in the gospel. And what do we got? We got less people thinking about doing what's right. And more people focusing on what's doing what's wrong. How to do what's wrong, get away from it. What? What is one of the most popular shows though today? How to get away with murder. Y'all don't realize how ludicrous that is. Well, I, I've never seen the show, so it may make sense, but the title alone just run me away. Mm -hmm. the, the title alone, I don't even want to know how to get away with murder. So I'm not going to spend 30 minutes of my time watching somebody telling me how to do it. Yeah. I don't even know if that's going to happen on the show. That's why I said the title alone just turned me off. Mm -hmm. we, 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 we get to the point where there's like no conscience. You know, what if there was a show saying how to get away with pedophilia? Let me ask you something. Which is worse, murder or pedophilia? Murder. I ain't saying either one I'm good, but I am saying there have been children molested that live and children that have been killed. And given the 
once between the two. If I ask you, which would be worse to the child? I mean, because we don't just take children to remember less than they have to kill. So we know that's not an answer. You see how, look at our minds. Our minds are like, well, it's okay to show them show how to get away with murder. But to show them stuff. Do you have a name? Do you have a title? So am I saying that's sin? No, I'm not saying that's sin. I'm just saying this is what we had today. In order to get you, it's got to get more and more sensationalism. The girl that got shot, they were going to make a fighting video to go on YouTube. This is what we're saying. Somebody got out of hand, somebody pulled out a gun, start shooting, 14 years old, dead. 14. And all we can go is RIP. That's all we do, RIP. There ain't no rest in the peace without Jesus, y'all. And we as the church are sitting around like we're helpless. You know why? Look what he said. Because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. We don't got hot love. We got cold love. We cold hearted. And we become more and more cold hearted instead of looking at ourselves, Lord. Why am I so cold hearted? We look at other people. Our marriages won't work like that. Our families won't work like that. You can't be cold-hearted. Right now, family don't mean nothing. To some folks, family, all the word family means is somebody there when I need them. That's all it means. I'm telling you right now, if people don't need you, you ain't their family. Try getting sick and see how many family members you have come around. Just try it. Let's try it. We don't care no more. And ain't nobody saying this. We don't. We don't. Church, church, you got some necessary something we do. It ain't, it don't really mean nothing. And I, I have made up my mind now. I will not live my life like that. You know, this is not just about you becoming comfortable. This is about us living a life that brings Jesus to planet Earth. We are his hands. The reason the sick ain't healed, he told us to lay hands on the sick. We are his voice. The reason they don't know the truth is because we don't speak the truth. Why they don't know? Why the world confused about it? Well, I'm a girl, I'm a boy, I'm a homosexual, that's right. You know what? Because you and I are silent. You speak it, you judge it. No, you speak and you speak his word. Amen. He judges. Yes. And then I said Jesus yes. judges. He has a pretty strong verse to say. The love of many wax cold. You got cold love? You got cold love? Do you? And what brings cold love? When iniquity abounds? See, we don't understand there are consequences to everything. When we accept iniquity in our lives, in our atmospheres, there are consequences for it. And one of the consequences is your love become cold. You know why? We've got everything we need. And when we kick him out because of iniquity, then what happens is that 14 year old girl was shot. Nobody said that. You know why? Because I want a policeman that shot him. Oh, we put his RIP. And he go, why this happen? You know, maybe it got something to do with our entertainment. Maybe we see more violence than we've ever seen before ever on the planet Earth. Maybe we got games where we shoot one another and don't even phase us. <coughs> You know, maybe we got songs that advertise violence over and over and over and over again. Maybe, maybe that's got a little something to do with it. See, because we didn't have this when I was growing up, and we didn't have there were guns when I was growing up. But they weren't just 14 year old going out and getting shot. When I was in high school, the whole time I was in high school, one person died of a murder. One? 
The whole time I was in high school. And they got stabbed at a party. And what's the difference? You know, maybe what we are pleasuring ourselves with is killing us at the same time. I like looking at Aren't you just looking at okay, what has changed in society? Where everybody thinks they should be happy. You know, I was telling G, I said, you know the song? Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. You know the song? You know what's amazing? How, oh, happy day. Probably when you get older today. You know why? Because we made it a happy day. When Jesus washed, when Jesus washed, oh, when he washed, when he washed, he washed my sins away. Oh, it's a happy day. <laughs> so now, what we do, y'all see, we try to get rid of sin. Yeah. And so then all we want to do is be happy. <coughs> be happy. You ain't going to be happy with your sin. Sin never satisfies. You're right. It only crucifies. Mm, wow. Do you understand? Wow. What you're holding on to is what's killing you. I know we're in church. Then we had the new song happy. Every song happy. It used to be we were happy in the 70s because Jesus washed our sins away. Now, no matter what, we just be happy. So the whole purpose of your life is just to be happy. How are you going to be happy? I don't know. Just do it. Be happy. Because that's what you're supposed to do. And whatever makes you happy is what's right. It used to be we knew what made us happy was Jesus washing away our sins. Isn't it amazing how things change? Isn't it amazing how we even bore to death real slowly? Let's go. We talked in the last day. Jesus was asked what's going to happen in the last day. Right now, it sounds like he's pretty close to being true. Especially with this love waxing cold stuff. So then we ask the question, why love? Why love? Why? See, y'all, when we go to the mission of this church, one of the reasons God called this church is he called it an end time church. And that's why he called us to love. Because he knew that love was going to grow cold. He already said it. So you got to love on purpose. Everybody said love on purpose. And if you don't love on purpose, you won't love at all. And I'm telling you, that's why a lot of times we have to deal with sin because sin kills your love. That's what it do more than. Sin makes you self-focused and all you can think about is what's going to make you happy. And when you think about what's going to make you happy, a lot of times loving your neighbor ain't what you think make you happy. In fact, it's somewhere way down on your list. Go and visit some little old lady in the nursing home that's like way down on your list. You know why? Because it don't make you happy. Look at this. Why love? Let's look at the spiritual reasons. Timothy, 2,000 years ago, now the Spirit speaks expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith. It didn't say from the church. It said from the faith. There's a difference in from the church. Oh, we got a lot of people in church. But we don't have a lot of people in the faith. In the faith I means, you know, I live for this. I die for this. In the faith is what those people were in New Testament times when they were brought aside and said, Do you believe in Christ? Do you believe that Jesus is the King? And they go, yes, I believe Jesus is the king. If you say yes one more time, we're going to chop your head off and your children. I don't want my head chopped off. But I cannot deny what I know is true. Yes. Chop away from me. Oh, so you know what we do? <laughs> the Lord know my heart. Okay. <laughs> See? The Lord know. Lord, you know, I know, you know, between me and you, you was kidding. And the Lord will forgive me. It's something different, y'all. When we have to share our heaven, or when they have to share our heaven with folks like us, we deny him every day. 
We ignore him every day. And yet we're going to heaven anyway. All right now. They were willing to be crucified. Put in tar pits. If we don't even want people to talk bad about us. But what if they start calling me a holy roller? I don't want somebody to think I'm a religious fanatic. Are you? I am. You gotta say I am. You gotta say, you know, if I'm an Alabama fan, I'm an Alabama shark. I don't care if people think I'm an Alabama fanatic. If I'm an Auburn fan, I'm an Auburn shark. I don't care if people think I'm an Auburn fanatic. Am I ashamed to walk around if I'm an Auburn fan and say War Eagle? Absolutely not. I'm Auburn War Eagle. Am I ashamed to say Roll Tide if I'm an Alabama fan? Absolutely not. I say Roll Tide. I'm a Jesus fan. And I'm not ashamed to say Praise the Lord. Am I ashamed to even admit that I know Him? Am I ashamed? Do I just go and pretend? Like I'm okay. You ain't okay. You're not okay. You're not okay when you think more about a crimson time or a war eagle than you do about waiting on the Lord and taking up wings like eagles. You're not okay. Something about it with us. We come up with this black. Lives matter, all lives matter, y'all. And when a black person kills another black person, it matters too. Yes. You know what we do when we hear something like that? 14 year old girl gets shot. Go, oh, what's she doing out there? I don't know what she's doing out there. It wasn't like it was really late. Yeah. It wasn't like it was 11, 12, 1 o'clock. We go, well, at least it wasn't my child. We cold. We cold. We cold. But at least it wasn't my friend. We cold. And we think we okay. We think we just show up. If we show up, then we okay. We not okay, y'all. We're in the last days. And the Bible says that many will depart, giving he while they depart from the faith. That will be given he to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. The devil is cooking up doctrines right now to make you feel religious even though you live like him. Mm. Teach, teach. Because all that is what you feel. You know why? This it. He told us this was coming. It's here. Now, people, now preachers that are preaching right now that you ain't got to worry about sin. Jesus already died for your sin. Oh, whatever you do is okay. Just do what you do, baby. Do you. Just make sure you come to church and make sure you die. Before I preach that, I wish you not come to church. I wish you never tired. Before I preach that, before I would preach something that would send your soul to hell, I would wish to God that you wouldn't come here. If that's what it takes to get folks here, I will not preach it. Because there is a hell, and it is real. Look what happens, and this is where we are today. Speaking lies in hypocrisy. Having their conscience seared with hot iron. Basically, Paul's saying these seducing spirits will make you lose your conscience. What is conscience, y'all? Conscience is your knowledge of what is right and what is wrong. I was talking to this girl on Facebook and she had broke some post about same-sex marriage. 
I didn't know how bad off we were. So I went to explain to her why marriage was more than she, she was like, she, she ended her phrase with, because marriage is just a piece of paper anyway. You know, what difference does it make whether they male and male, female and female? Who matters what you, you know, what difference is conscious? What's right, what's wrong? And as I began explaining to her, marriage is more than just a piece of paper. You see, unfortunately, what has happened in our society is we made it just a piece of paper. So we think it's okay to try it out. You can't try marriage. You can no more try marriage than you can try suicide. You try suicide, that's it, baby. Once you marry, that's it. Well, you can live with somebody else. Yeah. You can call them hubby, boo baby, baby boo, baby. <laughs> Church be like, that's right, Pastor. We 
this to some lady at, at a Church of God in Christ convention, and she was this her uh, in the 80s. And she, that lady said, she said, uh, and I don't know what y'all do with all these sisters in the church. <laughs> Just sisters everywhere. Sisters on the piano. Sisters on the drum. Sisters ushering. God don't want no sisters in this church. And I said, I said, she wouldn't know you can't say that today. I mean, you can. But that was a time where that was like totally acceptable in God's house. She's preaching the truth. And I thought to myself, how far have we come? <clears throat> Not a word sissy with that, like the M word. How far have we come? Our countries have become so seared. In the church, if you were in homosexuality, you would hide. If you were in adultery, you would hide.
infection. What happens if you keep scratching something that should be treated? You get infection. Eventually you wound yourself, you start bleeding, and then deep infection can set in. And for some of us, we've been trying to feel so good for so long, we've been infected. And they shall turn their ears from the truth. Everybody said the truth. Listen to me, y'all. There is a such thing as truth and lie. If you reject the truth, you choose to live a lie. And just because you choose to live a lie won't make it the truth. Let me say that again. Maybe that was too deep. <laughs> just because you go like, I don't want to hear the truth. I want to do what I want to do. And what I want to do is what I want to do. Just because you want to do it, don't make it the truth. See, you can want to do something that's wrong. It's my job to make sure the truth is preached. And shall be turned unto what? Fables. Everybody say fables. fables. This is interesting. <laughs> the reason this is interesting, if you would rather watch scandal or watch, give me some more, empire. If you would rather watch empire or scandal than hear God's word, what you think empire or scandal is? It's a fable. I don't want to hear the truth, but my love and shall be turned unto what? Fables. Give me a story. Tell me a story. It's amazing sometimes. I don't even watch Empire, but if, if you turn on Facebook, you're going with his own. <laughs> and people will be talking about them like they for real. It's one of them like Cookie. Yes. Yeah, see? I don't even know. I can't believe Cookie did that. But where was Cookie? What did she do? <laughs> don't know. Don't know one scripture. But they know about cookie. They know what cookie said and what's name. Okay. See, that's what I'm saying. Is it Lucius? Yep. Now they know what cookie said to Lucius. But don't know what Jesus said to me. <laughs> oh, we want the favor. Give us the favor. But watch thou in all things endure affliction. In other words, he told Timothy, Timothy, it's going to be some folks that don't like you saying this. Do the work of a what? See, instead of watching scandal, we're supposed to be doing something. We actually be getting together doing something. You know, maybe the community is what it is because we ain't showing up. You got Jill Wilson knocking on doors. Or maybe if you're with them, we ain't show up here. We too busy being busy watching scandals and watching empires and watching Mary Jane. That's another good thank you. She I forgot about Mary Jane. Don't be getting mad because I'm telling you the truth. Mary Jane, she ain't real. Even though the reality shows are really not real. You know why they're not real? Because as soon as you bring the camera out, People don't be real. You know, some people, oh, I can't, well, she just told her off. That's because they can't lose them. But in real life, she may not have told her off. She may have just went behind her back and talked about her. But the camera there, she knows the consequences are going to be limited to what happened to her. Cause the camera on. But the camera on. We call it reality. It ain't reality. That's fixed. It's fable. It's reality that we have created. This is true. We choose to believe. You know, just because you choose to believe it, don't make it true. Have you ever asked about that just absolutely believe a lie? They just believe it. They, like, they will believe a lie and will cuss you out and, to prove they lie is true. Just because you believe a lie, don't make it true. Is that right? Yeah. 
Y'all, so what we do, we got to get back to what God called us to do. Call us. Love God with all our heart, all our soul, all our mind. Love our neighbor, love ourselves, and love each other as Christ loves us. Do we do that? Do we actually love each other the way Christ loved us? I mean, for real. So this is the call this morning. Again, he called us. He called us here closer. He called you stronger than your phone calling you to play the next game. He calling you. I'm closer. So my pastor's playing the game. See it out moving up. Same, same. But if you put it before him, then it's sin. Are you more excited about your game than you are about praying, getting before him? And what you do is you reverse it. The Bible says repent. But you, how do you going to repent? You don't know, invite to put the game down until I get my heart right, and I'll put the game down until I get my heart right. Because I, I can put this, I have given this more priority over my life than I have what God wants for me, than his word. If I can put the show down until I put God first, I'll put the show down. You're not talking about you don't need anything in particular. It could be anything. I'm just saying game, just saying show. It could be a cigarette. It could be, you know, a friend that means you no good. It could be a bunch of different stuff. It could be your hair or your nails. You know, some people don't go to church with their hair in fix. They go, I can't go to church with my hair like this. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you. Bless you for this day. Thank you for your word. The opportunity, Lord, will accomplish what you said it would. In a prospering thing, word to you said it. Your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Your word is delicious to us. Your word is loving to us. Lord, love us till you give us right. Love us with your word, Lord. Not the fake love that only makes us feel good, but the real love that helps us be good and do good. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, we praise you, we give you glory for all you've done and all you're going to do. And your word be not only for self in heaven, but self in these earthen vessels. Your word is truth. In Jesus' name. Everybody say amen. Amen. All right.